What is up, guys? This is Sabin Kenobi playing some Orcs Must Die 2 today. Alright, we are continuing the Trapless experiment. We're going through the game. We're trying to beat it without using any or little to no traps, I should say. As you can see, I'm setting up some barricades. Uh, this level, I went ahead and decided, you know what? It's too short of a walk for these orcs. We're gonna put up some barricades when we get the money. Uh, this is level 11, upstairs, downstairs. Kind of an interesting uh, map in the way they programmed it because you've got these orcs and they have that short walk to that rift and a long walk upstairs to the other rift, if you look at the mini map there. And uh, they just, some of them by default, by programming, decide, eh, that rift over there that's really close, I don't want to go there. I'm going to go upstairs. Um, it's kind of weird. Uh, makes for an interesting game mechanic, I suppose, but uh, there's no rhyme or reason. Some orcs are just programmed to go upstairs, and some are programmed to go, screw it, I'm going for the short route. So um, I know my co-op partner, Womprat, went ahead and memorized which waves and which orcs go up and which ones go down. Uh, and was able to pull it off without barricades. Uh, me, I'm, I'm the one-shot man, so this is my one run at this level. Um, I did not do a second take, so I went ahead and did barricades. Call me cheap, but it's still freaking hard, so <clears throat> don't call me too cheap. But yeah, we're just uh, doing our usual lightning cloud, chain lightning, going for headshots to recoup some mana. As you can see, that doesn't always work out, as you've heard me complain before about the aiming mechanic in this game. Now this is just me guessing, because I did not memorize which waves start where. You know, they start on both sides now. We'll get some thundercloud going. Let's make an ogre work for us. And, oh, there's a frost ogre on this side. We'll make him work for us. Now these guys are already going for the upstairs, so we're going to come up here and try and take them out. Luckily none of them went and attacked the barricades. So beautiful. I think that the ones that are programmed to go the short route and go for that closer rift, when they do see the barricade they realize there's a way around and so they just go upstairs rather than attack it. Um, that's not true for the Cobalt Runners in the later waves. Uh, any bombers, Cobalt Runners that have uh, bombs strapped to their backs, like now, uh, you'll see they're just going to gun it straight for barricades. Uh, these guys will always go for you, target you, and try and destroy you, um, unless there's a barricade closer by. So you see how when I came down the stairs, they kind of went, ooh, we'd rather attack the Sorceress. But, if there's a barricade, they'll gun for that, too, so regardless of what programming they have for what rift point. But, I think I spoke too soon, because I've got a couple orcs who are going for the uh, barricades to attack it. So, I don't really understand the programming of this level. That's another reason I didn't want to do multiple takes, is I knew... I kind of knew Womprat was going to plan out and figure out which waves go where and who does what. And, I just didn't want to sit down and do it. So, anyway, we're almost halfway through. As you can tell, it kind of mirrors. Now I'm going to basically fight the same orcs I did last time, just on this side. And, uh, yeah, just more of the same. Uh, nothing too fancy in this level. We do get some fire uh, ogres and ice ogres, as you saw, but other than that, really nothing new. So... It's a shorter level, but uh, I don't want to cheat you guys, so let me put in some OC Remix for you. Uh, if you haven't checked out ocremix.org, you should. Um, website for fan-based uh, redubs, or whatever you want to call them, of video game music. So, uh, here we go.
All right. We are on the final wave. Lots of ogres. We're going to be charming them. Uh, that was OC Remix of a Donkey Kong Country song, as most of you could probably figure out, uh, called Diddy Evolution. I really liked that one. That takes me back to the Super Nintendo days. Uh, if you liked it, feel free to put a link in the uh, text below for you guys if you want to go check it out yourself. And, uh, yeah, this final wave kind of focused mostly on ogres, which aren't as bad, especially when you're a sorceress and you can make them work for you. So, yeah. Let a few... I think I let an ogre through earlier. <clears throat> yeah, it was an ogre. Um, just couldn't quite catch him in time. But again, one run. Uh, figured four skulls, good enough. So, we're just going to let it slide. And, uh, yeah, there's my stats. So we got, uh, coming up, uh, Crunch. Definitely one of the harder levels in Act 2. Um, so <clears throat> give uh, both Womprat and I some grace as we continue to work towards that. Um, it is a difficult level, uh, but it will be coming up next. Until then, I'm Sabin Kenobi, signing off.